What is up with this sort of barren waste? We're gonna have to stick close to the sea. I might make one city around this area, like I said earlier. Um, but only if, if I actually have access to a casbah, which I don't think I do right now. Probably need something like construction for that, I'm guessing. Can we just get... Okay, two instant enemies... Oh, man, my scout is being pummeled. Uh, okay. Nearby barbarians. Wow, thanks, man. That's... I totally didn't realize there were barbarians around. Uh, that's some useful stuff right there. Okay, well, this place is deserted. Everyone is probably east, then. Uh, but this is good, because no one's gonna settle in this godforsaken desert out of here. Oh, look at that. There's a city-state in the godforsaken desert. It's Colombo. What's up, Colombo? Gonna have to trade with them, but we probably need a caravansary to actually get that going. Um, before I do anything else, let's check this out. We're gonna check out the Casbah. And what I need for that bad boy, it is chivalry. Type of Medina, a walled quarter in a city, found in a countryside, usually a small settlement on a hilltop or hillside. Originally the home for a tribal chieftain or important Islamic imam, the Kasbah has is characterized by high-walled, windowless houses and narrow winding streets. It is usually dominated by a single fortified tower. Kasbahs were common along the North African coast and Middle East until the early 1900s. Building a Casbah was a mark of wealth, influence, and power for Moroccan and Algerian families of Arab descent. Only built on desert. That's interesting. I had no idea. Um, we're looking good. That scout is going to get his ass whooped if he doesn't come back, so... That is definitely something to consider. Uh, we could have found a better place to found a city. Oh, look, it's another map. How sweet is that? We got some more ruins. I'm going to send this guy home. Uh, or, you know, he's gonna die if I don't, so let's take care of that right now. Uh, it looks, this is, I think, a pretty big map, so there could be some islands to the north, or, you know, something like that. Uh, I'm honestly not very sure. Wait, is that... That's cool, the ruin is actually in the marble. I've never seen that before. And it looks pretty cool, it looks sort of like a Roman, uh, ruin, so yeah, I like that. Okay, next turn, we're gonna get mining. Which isn't really going to help me at all, but hey, at least I have it. And it looks as if we're going to be dealing with a lot of barbarians. 20 culture, sweet. Thank you. I was hoping I'd finally get that. Let's shoot the archers, get them out of here. They have no place. Oh, man. Oral tradition, plus one culture from plantations. Looks like someone has, has a lot of plantations around. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with masonry. I want to clear the marshes, allow my city to grow, which is gonna be, you know, it's gonna be very important. So I want to make sure that actually happens. And then after um, Marrakesh is done making the granary, I'll get uh, something like a worker go, and that seems like a good plan. Are they gonna ruin? Well, they can't really ruin anything because I haven't built anything yet. So I'm assuming they're just gonna, yep, they're just gonna stand on my food supplies and starve my citizens. Thanks, man. That's, that's really nice of you. Uh, plus three culture. Yeah, I'll take it. It's gonna mean that in about four turns... Look at that. Actually, I, I got the, uh, the incense. Alrighty then. That's, that's good. Let's get rid of the archer, make sure our city grows. Uh, I think I wanna, I'm gonna want to become friends with Columbo. Seeing as they might eventually... Get their hands on the marble over there, and I want it. I want the marble. Uh, let's go. Let's keep going. Just keep running. Hope they don't attack. If they do, we're screwed, but okay. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Okay. Colombo is still just chilling. I know that. That's good. Next turn. I want to get the granary. I want to get, I want to get it. We need the food. And we need it quick. Population increase. Wow, that's... I mean, that just means that people are already, like, stagnating. They can't eat enough. So, the city isn't gonna grow. You know, that kinda sucks, but okay. It'll do. Oh, come on! Why? Man, I thought it would be safe, but nope. That, uh, that scout is probably gonna die at some point. Oh boy, well, let's, let's see if we can kill the archer. Uh, let's get you out of there. It's a sticky situation. We're gonna get the granary in one more turn, then the city can finally keep growing a little bit. Which they really, really need. Oh, come on! What is your deal? Don't kill him, don't ki- Oh, seriously? 
Come on, he still had some pretty decent health. It's a complete waste of a perfectly good scout. Some bullshit. Alright, so the granary is done, the city's grown again, that's all good. Uh, next I'll actually pick, uh, Legalism. It's gonna give us a free monument, pretty good, we get another social policy in about 10 turns. And it's gonna assist the border growth, which is very important for this city, because they don't have a lot of food. Uh, and they do. They, they do need a lot of food, so that's something we're gonna want to, uh, to take care of. I don't, it's not like I have anything to buy right now, so I'll just buy that tile. And it should, yep, there you go. So they're now actually getting that tile, they're growing a bit faster. You know, it's looking pretty good. Let's get a, um... Kinda wanna get a worker to just clear the marshes as soon as possible, which is we can do in about six turns. And, uh, you know, workers are just very important. Making farms, we're gonna wanna make plantations soon. Uh, so a worker is definitely something that we need. Yeah, okay, let's just, just kill him. Uh, because they're very annoying, and I'm pretty sure that we can hold off the, the, the warrior for a little bit. The Barbarian Brute. Barely any damage. Nice try, Archer. You guys suck. So let's see. I might... Um, see, this one I don't really care about for now. The food is good, though. The food one is really good for me. It's going to be a, a big help. Uh, I might dip into Liberty next. Just get that. You know, it's going to give me a little bit of extra culture, but also I can get the extra production, the free settler, and the free worker. I love free workers because they work for free, which is awesome. Um, but I'll probably start off and go for the uh, the food stuff, which can really uh, help out this. Oh, come on. We've reached the limit. Okay, so either I'm the only person on this map or everything is up north. Where there's one city state and that's it. That is ridiculous. Uh, unless... Oh, th I don't think this is actually the end of the map because it looks like that when it is. So it, that's not the end of the map at all. This is such a weird map. I've never played on this before. And I'm not, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but okay. Interesting this. Very interesting. Uh, yep, next turn it. Want to get my marsh. I want to get my worker. Definitely. I might even try and get the pyramids, which are pretty great in my opinion. Oh, come on. The spearman's going to die as well. Well, at least he's not doing so hot. Let's, um... See, we can't really walk away from this, so give him a heal. And, and have him go north. We might be able to take the encampment or just run away. You know, either way, let's try and keep the guy alive. That would definitely be... A bit of a priority uh, for me. And those stupid barbarians are taking our food again. They're on my little food tile here. I actually have three now, which is pretty sweet, but... Still in my way. You know, still not cool. Get out of there. You, you have no reason to be there. You're just being annoying. That's what you guys do. How happy are those whose walls already rise. Alright. Masonry is done. We get another one of these. 40 faith. Okay, so we might actually be able to get a pantheon out of that. Just a free pantheon, basically. Uh, which is pretty awesome. I think, seeing as we have all these little plantations around. Especially if we get to the sugar. Oh, man, that one's already taken, isn't it, though? Because we just saw it. Oh, that's... Okay, well, that sucks. That really sucks. Uh, next. I might want to go for writing so I can actually get a library. Uh, which is very important for a city, obviously. Trapping isn't really of much value to me right now. And the calendar, I don't uh, I don't have a worker yet. Happiness is at three. So it's going to be between calendar and writing. I think I'll start off with... Let's see, we're going to get a... Yeah, I'm going to go with the calendar first of all. Just so you know, when the worker is done, he can actually make a plantation. And in the meantime, we will research... Um, What's his face? Writing. You know, get that going a little bit. Okay, let's get out of there. You know, that's just a bunch of trouble. Stay away from him. Uh, shoot those guys in the face, please. They're very annoying. Just kill them. Good job. You did it. Uh, okay, so let's see. They're basically getting all the food they can, which means that production and gold are getting a little bit of a uh, hit there. Which isn't awesome, but at least they're getting a little bit of food there. Uh, four citizens, that's good. Let's see. We can pick one. A little bit of extra culture from shrines. Not the biggest fan of that. Uh, the God King. It's not super good because uh, you only get one palace, obviously. So that is not really going to help. 